morning my dear students and welcome to big data analytics class so in today's class we are going to learn about hive setup for cloudera so this is very very important uh, because you need to do little bit of setup part to do the hive so first of all step this is a step 1 you have to work the step 1 is first you are you are going to create a folder so whatever the folder you want to create you you can you can create any folder whichever you like so i have created a folder his him hive and after that the second step is you need to open the terminal window so this is your terminal window so first step is create a folder on the desktop and second step is open this terminal window and after opening the terminal window type sudo su and if it asks for password as the by default password is cloudera so please give the password as cloudera once you give the cloudera it will come to root cloudera that means it came like this it came like this right it came like this so this is your step 2 so in step 2 you open the terminal window and you are given sudo su and you are given the password and once you gave the password it came like this it came to this location root step 3 so already you came at this location you are going to use cd user lib hive config that is called as a folder so use that path to go to the config folder so once you do that you will get this path like this and at this location i am saying sudo gedit hive site.xml so i am opening the hive site hive site.xml this is my file i am opening when i will open the file see i am giving the command like this so this is the command i given here and then i have opened the file sudo gedit hive site.xml once you open the file now you have to copy the path of the folder you have created so this is the folder you have created at the desktop so when you open the file this is the file when you open the file you can you keep everything as it is you no need to make anything only the path you have to change that is this is the path desktop that's all these are the changes you have to make don't no need to make changes for the property all this description part only the value part you have to change wherever the location of the folder you have created that part you have to do it so this is the final document when you open the hive site.xml file don't do all these changes only make changes the folder that is called as desktop his him hive that's all remaining things you no need to make any changes and at last the step 4 always type this command to enter into the hive shell so to enter into the hive shell because at the hive shell only you are going to give the hive query commands hive query language commands so to enter into the hive shell always use this command and the most important thing is you are not going to make every day these changes once you are going to make this changes in the setup you you are going to done it and you will enter the hive by saying as sudo hive so i have given the command like this sudo hive so automatically you going to get like this and this is your hive query command and at this location you are going to give the commands so that's all so most important thing is first to make the setup in the cloud era of the hive step 1 is you need to open the you need to create a folder on the desktop second step you need to open the terminal window on the terminal window you you, you are going to give the step 2 that is called as sudo su you are going to give the cloud era it will go to the root part and step 3 you are, you are going to go to the config folder the config folder is present in the user lib hive and after that you are going to open the hive site.xml file so since it is a super user so i am using sudo g edit after that the file will open like this you have to make only this changes i have made the folder on the desktop so make this changes only this part only remaining thing 
you no need to make any changes you no need to make any changes on this that's all and to enter into the hive shell just say pseudo hive that means we have four steps but every day you are not going to make four steps you are going to make only the first four steps one day and next day or next time onwards you are going to enter into the hive by using the pseudo hive and you are going to get the hive command here like this hive prompt like this where you are going to type your queries so thank you so much for listening the hive cloudera setup to work with the hive query language and we'll meet in the next session where we'll be doing the practical hive commands thank you so much for listening the class